So I'm glad to be here. I might, it's hard for me to talk in three minutes. I, I don't think I've ever talked in just three minutes, but I'll, I'll try to be concise. Um, you can tell just by my appearance, I'm a pretty casual individual, right, informal. And I think that's what it should be. So uh, I hope you approach me on campus. I hope you feel comfortable reaching out to me if you have issues or concerns. I'm certainly going to be engaging this body, but that's a formal process. This isn't really my style. I'm more interested in having conversations and, and longer conversations and, and more meaningful, where it's a two-way conversation instead of me just espousing on things. But I will kind of tell you where we're at and what I'm doing really quickly. So you guys probably already know, because I saw a tweet that came out. Um, I asked this body, I asked students to, just like I asked every dean to engage their faculty and um, their senators, as well as all administrators, I'm trying to do dil due diligence. I'm trying to understand more the culture of this university. I want to understand what are the really good things about this institution. I want to understand where things are risk or we could do better. I want to understand how leadership in the broad sense has engaged students. And so I think you guys had a deadline of December 6th or 10th or whatever, we'll get that. The rest of the units are putting together big binders and that's due January 10th. So I'll be coming back before this body, and I'm going to be very transparent. Uh, the transparency started with, I uploaded on the web page every question for every unit that you, anybody can look at and see. So you understand the type of what I'm thinking and the type of questions I have. And that will continue, because I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to give you the results of the survey and where we're at. And it's going to be, this is what's good, and I'm going to tell you the warts. These are things that we need to improve on. This is what leadership needs to improve on, and how do we do it together. I can also tell you, and the senators in the back can attest to this, I've told everybody my priorities, right? Not in the greatest detail, but an overarching priority, and I have two overarching priorities. Number one, in everything we do, budgets, personnel, the campus, our engagement, is about the student experience, period. And I define the student's experience as being the following. We're going to have a safe, inclusive, and diverse campus that includes leadership, that includes faculty, and that includes our student body. We're not going to be a campus that's judged by who we do not allow into our campus for US News rankings. We're going to be a university that's judged by what we do with the students who have an opportunity at Wichita State and what they can do with the community. It's going to be a university that has a student experience that has the lowest debt that we can possibly do. Okay, so that's why when we talk about budgets, how do, we re how do we constrain our budgets? How do we manage it thinking, if we do this, what kind of uh, offshoots would that might be for student fees or tuition and those costs? So we're going to do that. Um, it's a student experience where the students are engaged. So when we have meetings or we have these task force which we're going to be forming, students are part of the conversation. Students are at the table with administrators, with faculty, et cetera, as we move forward. The student experience is also that we graduate on time, and most importantly, and this is where faculty senate and the provost are going to be working hard, student experience is making sure that we have academic programs not just for now, but for the jobs and the economy of the future. And I don't know what those are, but we'll figure that out. So that's the student experience. So when people come to me and say, I need a new body, we need to make an investment, we need to do this, the question I ask is, what does that do to further the student experience at Wichita State? The second is enrollment. That's our financial sustainability of this institution. And if we do our student experience right, we'll have students that want to come to Wichita State because it's the place to go. It's the place that's doing it right. And so it's going to take time, but that's what we're doing. And so we'll be very transparent in that process. Um, I think that you'll be seeing, um, you already saw probably a memo that went out for me uh, about convergent sciences. And so the idea there is to make sure we have a beautiful innovation campus and we do great things with aviation. So this isn't we're going to do this or this, it's we're going to do this and continue to do this well, but we're also going to start expanding our opportunities and diversify our research, our scholarship, and our economy by exploring different types of things that we can do to address economic disparities, educational disparities, health disparities, and the new economy for our state. And so we're going to ask faculty and students from across the campus to come together with their ideas on convergent science and support it. So you'll see that. And last, I'll close with, we're going to have a, a memo coming out from me to the campus 
we're going to be I'm going to be issuing a request for six, maybe seven task force on very specific topics. Some I've already identified. Some are going to come from the surveys of things that we need to do. And I'm going to be asking this body to make sure that there's representation of students at the table on these task force along with educators, faculty, administrators, et cetera, moving forward. And we'll be reporting back and we're going to be very transparent. Again, it's going to be on the web. These are the issues. This is what we're asking. These are our findings. That's the way we're going to move forward together. You may not always agree with all my decisions. That's okay. That's okay. As long as you respect and understand and we have a relationship, you know that these decisions are always based on the best interest of this institution and our number one priority, which is student experience. And if we do that, we're going to do the right thing. So I thank you for allowing me to come today. You know, if you guys have follow-up questions or concerns, certainly through this leadership, but um, feel free you just email my office. You email me. It's jay.golden at wichita.edu, and we'll set up a time. I especially like 6 a.m. when I come on the campus, so if it's 7 a.m. breakfast or whatever, or late at night, I'm happy to meet with you guys. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing. Good luck with finals. Really, good luck. Thank you.